Hi, today I given the task of drawing this dovetail guide that you are seeing in front of you. So we're gonna have to see the dimensions first, and this is the sketch. So you, you can maybe take a screenshot so it can be doing it together. So first we go on the A, and then go start at millimeter and go create. So here you can start with a rectangle. So let's say this is our rectangle that you are starting with. And let's say this is a hundred smaller meters for now. Hmm? For now, hundred smaller meters. And this one here, which is 35 smaller meters. Okay. And now we have to come with this line. So there is my line. Okay. There is my line. And I need to make sure as per our sketch that need to be 45 degrees. That need to be 45 degrees. So once that is 45 degrees, now I'm gonna come here and trim this part. Trim that part. That one. Come on. And delete this one. And trim this part here. Okay. So once I have that, I'm gonna make sure about the dimension. This one here needs to be 50 millimeters. This is what I wanted, 50 millimeters. Then I come here and then I trim this part here. I come there, I draw my circle. There is my circle. And I need to make sure that from there up to there, that is 17 and a half. And now from there to there, that needs to be a uh, 3 point. 3.75 that is great and once i have that in place i come here and then i say extrude i need to extrude this part here by 50 millimeters 50 millimeters great and after that i come here i say new sketch then i draw another sketch here but I, first i need to have these lines here which are gonna help me a lot so here is my second line and now I need to make sure about the parallelism. So this one here needs to be parallel to that. And this one needs to be parallel to that. Once I have that, now the dimension. So from B to V, that one needs to be 25 millimeters to 5. And from D to V, that one needs to be 25 as well. 25. So yeah, I come now with a an hexagon. So there is my hexagon. There we go. Great. Now, from the up to the that one need to be 25 millimeters. So once I have that in place, I can now draw this. Okay. So I need to have this as well, this line D, and I need to make sure that this one is parallel to that one. Okay. So that need to be parallel to that. It is parallel. And now I need to make sure that this one here is 35, what did I say? 35.188. Great. 35.188. And then from D to V, that one needs to be 7 to so 7.406. Okay, after calculation. And now let me make sure that from D up to V, yeah, that is 17. Accept. That is fine. Oh, it's already there. So now, what I do is I come off this line here. So that is my line there. Okay. And then now I need to make sure that uh, this line of mine is 16 millimeters. 16 millimeters this side. And uh, 16 millimeters this other side. Mm -hmm. 16 millimeter this other side so now I have to have this line so my first line and my second line so once I have those in place I can they see extrude so now I want to extrude this part okay I want to extrude this part they say by 100 100 but actually I'm cutting so I want to go both sides I cut both sides then I say okay then I come here, I say visibility on, visibility on. So I want to extrude this part as well. So I need to extrude this part here as given on the drawing. So it need to be extruded 20 to one side and 50 the other side. Yeah, well done. I say, okay. So after that, I come here, I say new sketch again. Okay, new sketch again. I start, come on, let me have that one in place. That's one. 
and this one. That will help me. Okay. So then I need to make sure that from D to Z, that needs to be 25. 25. Great. Okay. And from D up to D, come on. Now from here up to A. To D, that one needs to be uh, 25 as well. 25. Okay. So now I come with this other hexagon. So there we go. And this one here from D up to D need to be 20 millimeters. So 20. Great. Then I come with the circle. My first circle. My second. I start again my first echo D. My second. My third. My fourth. My fifth. And my sixth. There you go. So I need to make sure about the dimensions. So those one here need to be um, as per our sketch 12 millimeters. That need to be 12 millimeters. And those one here need to be 8 millimeters. That need to be 8 millimeters. Great. And this need to be 2.3. 2.3. That's fine. Now I need to make sure that this one here is equal to that. Okay. And this one, that one need to be equal to that one. And this one here need to be equal to that one. This one as well need to be equal to that one. And that equal to this one. Great. So once I have those in place, what I'm gonna do now, I go in 3D model. I say extrude. Okay. So I need first to have a hole. So that hole they need to say, let's say 100. Need to go all the way through. So I say both sides. Come on, both sides of the line. Then I say cut. Okay. Am I having it both sides? If they have it at 200. Yes, great. Come on. <laughs> that is too much. Uh, anyway, it won't change. It doesn't make a difference. So that's one day. And I say, okay. So again, I come here and say visibility on, visibility on. So I need to use this one here. Inside by two millimeters. So two inside, like that. Okay. Now I need to extrude. That one, this one, this one, come on, you, mm -hmm. that one, that one, and that one. Now by four millimeters, so four millimeter inside, inside, I say, okay. So once that is done, I come here and say, visibility of, visibility of the, so then I need to have screws, sorry, threads, you can see. So now the drawing is done. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to have a fillet there. So that's a fillet there of four millimeters as per the drawing, four millimeters. Great. So now I need to have fillet. So I need to have fillet in this hole. So that hole, apply. So I come again on this hole here, come on. This one day apply, did I apply? Okay, now this holes decide. So that one, this one, come on, that one, and I come again. Yeah, you apply, yeah. Again, I need to have uh, threads day. I need to have threads in here as well. Come on, here as well. Okay. So once that is done, you can see I have threads all over, not day. I don't need thread day. I say, okay. So now you can see how beautiful your drawing looks like. So now what you have to do is to give on it the material. So let's say this needs to be in carbon steel. So you come here. You say steel, carbon steel. All right, great. You can see how beautiful your drawing looks like. Okay, so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. For now, I'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Bye.